All right, for this question, we have two, two functions we need to take the derivative of. The first one has three sines nested together, composed together, and the next one, part b, has three secants nested together. So the first one here, let's unravel it. dy dx will be what? Let me write, write that a little bit better. Well, we're going to work from outside in. We're first going to knock off this sign, and then this sign, and then we're finally going to gain access to the innermost sign. So let's see how this goes. The derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine of, well, I'll do it like I usually do. I'll just write this. So cosine of the stuff in brackets here times the derivative of the stuff in brackets. And what is that stuff in brackets? It's sine of sine x. So notice how we've gotten rid of one of the signs now. On this derivative here, we only have two signs to tackle. So let's continue. The derivative of sine here is cosine, again, of sine x, times the derivative of sine x. And I'll just write it right away as cos x. All right, so I hope that's okay. It's a little bit of a weird question, but now if you think this one is weird, wait till we get to this one. This one's brutal. It might make your head hurt a little bit. Just remember, what is the derivative of secant all by itself? It's secant times tangent, right? So let's see how this goes. Um, I think by now you kind of have a feeling for what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to, this is our part that we're going to ignore. So the derivative of secant is going to be secant of this times tangent to that times the derivative of this, right? So secant of that times tangent of that times the derivative of that. And what is that? It's secant of secant x. All right. So notice that now we're, we only have two secants left. We've knocked off one of the secants. Unfortunately, I have to recopy all this. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, the derivative of this now. So again, we have secant of something. So the derivative of that is going to be secant of that something times tan of that thing times the derivative of that thing. And what is that thing? It's secant, right? And now we have to do the derivative of secant in here, and I don't really want to write everything out again, so I am going to put the derivative in right away. And the derivative of secant is secant times tangent. So I'm really running out of room here. So I'm just going to squeeze it in there. That really should be right after that there. But that is the derivative of that. So if you understand this, understand this one, then you're in pretty good shape.